Well, amen, amen. Thank you, Dr. Phil Driscoll, for doing the worship tonight. Phil Driscoll did three songs. Amen. So we are glad, glad, glad. Thank you so much. Father, we thank you for your word. It's your word that what's gets us on fire and keeps us on fire for you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have a Bible, open it up to Corinthians. Give you a moment to turn there while well, I'm turning there. It's going to be in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. We're going to start in verse... Verse 14. It says, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him or her or them, Neither can they know them because they are spiritually discerned. How do you know if you're on fire for Jesus? If people look at you and scratch their head and say, What a fool. You're wasting your life. <laughs> Amen. But we look at them and we say, Well, we want to pray for them because they're fooled. They're fooled. They're really what they're really the ones wasting their life, and so the natural man does not receive. So if you're trying, what's the natural man? Your five senses, your feelings. If you're trying to receive from God with your natural man, your five senses, you got it backwards because you don't receive from God with your five senses or your feelings. Have you figured that out yet? Amen. So what do you do? Well, you have to receive from God by his word. And his word says that he's giving you all things. Look in verse 10. But God hath revealed unto them, that's us. It even says unto us, by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things even the deep things of God. So even the deep things of God, we receive. Well, how do we receive? Well, just read verse 14 again. But the natural man receiveth not. What are we talking about? How to be on fire for God, how to receive from God. You can say, you can say it like that. Well, the way you receive from God is you take him at his word. He says you're healed, so you say you're healed. Did you know that God is not going to decide to heal you? Did you know that God is not going to decide to save you? Did you know that God is not going to decide to fill you with the Holy Spirit if you pray enough, fast enough, believe enough? He's not going to deliver you no, he's already, he's already decided that all those that call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. What are you calling on? He's already decided that you are the healed. He's already provided for you to be healed. But he's not the one that has to decide that you're healed. You are. But it don't feel, uh-oh, 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 verse 14 again. But the natural man receiveth not. What's the natural man? Five senses. Receiveth not the things of the Spirit. So what's the Spirit? Well, your, your Spirit is what gets born again. 
See, your spirit is well where you receive healing at. That's where it goes out into the natural parts of your body and even your mind. Romans the 12th chapter. See, that's a spiritual thing. Faith is spiritual. The Word of God is spiritual. It's not, if you notice, it's not a book like you just sit down and start reading chapters and verses and it just all, okay, yeah, that's a good story book. Well, then that's all it's going to be is a story book to you. Well, that's an historical book. Well, then that's all it's going to be is an historical book to you. Well, that's a history book, a book of history. Well, that's all it's going to be is a book of history to you. You're trying to figure it out into your natural mind. Can't do it. It don't work that way. So what do you do? In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, it says, look at verse 10, but God hath revealed. Not going to reveal. No, the second that you receive Jesus, He is the revealer on the inside of you. That's why it's so important to hang out with Him, see? But God hath revealed unto them, unto the us, which who's the us? Us? Us right now is listening right now. By the Spirit. Come on in. By his spirit, he searches all things and bring all things to you. Now, this is a freebie. Looky here. Everybody likes free stuff, don't they? Look in verse uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and in verse 12 down at the bottom. God has given us all things freely. If we pray hard enough, cry hard enough, do hard enough, do this, do that. No, He's given to us freely. But I can't see it. I can't wear it. I can't drive it. Exactly. That's why it takes faith. And so look in verse 14. But the natural man, five senses, receiveth not the things of the Spirit. Well, what's the things of the Spirit that's already been purchased for you? Can you see yourself wearing it? Then you can have it. I'm not talking about with these eyes. Can you see, you can see yourself broke, busted, disgusted. See, just change that over into the positive that you can see yourself healed, set free, delivered, and financially blessed. And then talk just like that. You know how to, you know how to, you ever cursed before? You know how to talk curses? Well, just switch that over into the good things instead of cursing. Switch it over into talking the blessing. You see that? So we know how to do the negative. We know how to, to cooperate with depression. We know have you ever been around somebody said, well, they're sneezing a lot or coughing a lot. Well, I'm coming down with the flu. It looks like I'm coming down. I must have COVID. So we know how to talk the curse. So what do we need to do? We need to start saying, you know what? Well, I guess I'm healed. She can have what you say. It's a freebie. Healing is a freebie. Jesus is free. Jesus is a freebie. Well, how do you receive Jesus? Well, how do you receive depression? Think about it. Talk about it. For too long, you start feeling it in your body. Well, you can talk about Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm the healed, set free, and delivered. And what happens? You'll start feeling that in your body. Amen. But you can't go by your body. You have to go about what you say first. Let's read it again. Verse 14, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. But the natural man, that means five senses, receiveth not. So you can't receive from God with your five senses. The natural man, your five senses. So you have to start looking at it with the senses. You know how to imagine everything that you don't have? Well, up here it says God's giving you all things that pertain to life and God freely. 
We know how to be broke, busted, disgusted. You know how to be rich. The same effort and time that you give to being broke, busted, disgusted, give the effort and time to imagine. And you know what? God's never missed it. God's never missed it. So what we need to do, we need to quit missing it. See, people miss it because they're praying that they get it, whatever it is. I'm praying hard. I'm believing God. I'm going to get it. It says here, you already got it, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Verse 12, down at the bottom. Freely given to us of God. He's already given it to us. So what would be our response? Well, I'm going to praise God so much until he gives it to me. No, that's doubt and unbelief. <laughs> what would you do? Just take that scripture, freely given unto us. So what would we do? We'd just say, thank you, Lord, I have it. Before you can wear it, drive it, eat it, any of your five senses, before you can spend it, so what would you do? You would have to say that. You want to use the men's side back there. We're still working on the women's. The, so you would just simply say, I have. Well, what is it that you have? You have exactly what the Bible says you have. But religion, do you ever notice this? Religion teaches you if you're good enough, God will give it to you. No, he's giving it to you based on what you're saying. If you're trying to give, if you're trying to be good enough to receive what Jesus has freely purchased for you, then uh, you're going to be Jesus now. No, <laughs> it ain't going to work. Jesus already purchased this for you. God has already given you all things that pertain to life and godliness. First Peter. He's already given it to you. So what do we need to do? Well, first of all, we need to quit praying for it. We need to start thanking Jesus we have it. But how, how, but I can't wear it, see it, drive it, eat it, anything with my five senses, experience it. Good. That means you're, that means you're in faith. <laughs> Amen. That means you're in faith. Well, I don't even have a feeling towards it. Good, that means you're being faith. Faith doesn't go anything to do with your feelings. You just simply say, I have. Well, what? <coughs> what do you have? Right here. All things. May know all things that are freely given to us. Freely given to us. Just like a, like a McDonald's. Say you're in the drive-thru or you're in the store and you want to get a Big Mac hamburger and you have a piece of paper that somebody gave you that says this is a gift, gift certificate for a McDonald's. Go in there and get whatever you want. So you go in there and you pull up to the drive-thru and they say, may I help you? That's what God's saying right now. May I help you? And you don't say nothing. Or you say, well, I hope you can. Did you place your order yet? No. You hungry? Yeah. God, can't you see I'm hungry? Can't you see I need this stuff? People pray like this all the time. There's nothing in the Bible says to do that. You do that at McDonald's long enough, they're going to call the PD on you and they're going to remove you from the parking lot or the car because they think you're goofy. But church people by the millions do that all the time with God. God's like, may I help you? Yeah. Well, what would you like? Uh, well, uh, 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 well, uh, 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 he can't answer that prayer. He goes by the word too. What is it? Zero in on it. Is it healing? 
than just simply say healing. Isaiah 53, 5. By his stripes, I'm healed. Okay, we can go to work on that. Whatever it is, no matter what it is. No matter what it is. You don't, you don't have to pray to get it. You just simply say, do you, do you, do you talk in the inner calm and say, well, I, I hope you know that, uh, I, I hope I get a Big Mac meal. They'd be like, sir, do you want a Big Mac meal? Well, I'm hoping I get it. Sir, do you want a Big Mac meal? I'm hoping I'm getting it. People do it all the time. They think it's prayer. That's not prayer. That's stupid going to seed. But if you don't know, if you don't know the Bible, that's the way people pray all the time. Well, I hope I get it. I hope I get healed. I'm trying. You doing good? I'm trying to do good. Well, what's the Bible say? I don't know. Well, that's why people don't know how to pray right. All you have to do is just speak it just like you have it. God says you have it, so you say you have it. I am the healed. I am the blessed. I am the whole. Whatever it is. And now look at this. Look in verse 14. This is what you're going to have to get past. But the natural man, five senses, receives not. So you can't go, do I have it? Do I really have it? What's the Bible say? It says, well, it says, I've got it right here. Well, that's what you say then. You can't go by the natural man because it talks you out of it. Because then it gets you over where you can't receive. The natural man, the five senses man. If I felt it in my body, I would be healed. Hey, ain't nowhere the Bible says that. Well, how do you receive from God then? You simply say what the scripture says. He says he's already freely given me healing, so I'm the healed. I've seen people that couldn't even get out of bed. Could It was looked like a walking dead man. Couldn't even get anything going. They start saying they're healed. And you know what happened? It released healing in your body. As old now, Pastor Mike, I don't believe that. Well, okay, let's just do it the negative part. You start saying you're depressed. <laughs> you know how to do that? Guess what? Won't be long. You'll be coming in agreement with depression after a while. You'll get some feelings out of that too. But it'd be negative. It'd be a dark place. But you want to get into the light place, the good place with God, then you're going to have to start saying, you know what? I am the healed. I'm the set free. I'm not all I know for however how long. You got me tripped up on that, Mr. Devil. But I'm not going on the dark side of life. I'm not going to do depression. It don't do, me, don't do me no good. All it does do me bad. I'm not going to do sickness. I'm not going to do disease. See? I'm not going to do poverty. You might, be every, you might be saying nothing's broken, nothing's missing, and everything around you is broken, everything around you is missing. But you know what happens? It starts coming together. It starts working out for you. See, what is that? You're, you're on the light side of life. See, if you quit, you'll just become an perpetual quitter. Boom, boom, boom. Just go down like a drain in a sink. But you know what? You may have practiced that. If you start praising God and worship God, you'll just do the opposite. It'll come right back up. So you start thanking God that you have. He's freely given to you. If that's all you got out of tonight's lesson, get that. God has freely given you all things. What is it that you want? He's given it to you. And then remember down there in 14, don't be foolish. Look at this. This is the last one that we're going to wrap it up. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, the natural man, five senses, for they are foolishness. Foolishness. Oh, I had people, I'm teaching this to them, you know. I said, well, hold your hand out the window of the car or hold your, say it, Walmart parking lot that you have. And they said, now, why would I want to say that? That's making me look like I'm retarded. No, you're not retarded. You're speaking spiritual. 
Do you think you're retarded when you start talking gloom, despair, and agony on me and deep, dark depression, excessive misery? If it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Well, no, that's just normal talking. That's normal defeat talking. We're not defeated. Didn't you hear that song of Phil Driscoll? We're the winner. We win. Don't listen to your mind. Listen to your heart. Your heart, your spirit part. Listen to your spirit. Your spirit's always going to lead you to the Word. I got mine underlined right here. I've been meditating this for a couple of days. Freely give. God's not the one withholding nothing. Well, if the devil's not the problem, because we can bind and gag him in Jesus' name, and God is not the problem, because he's freely given to us all things, then what's the problem? This thing right here.